today is Retro-D's day. It is his day today. <laughs> and I'm still waiting for YouTube to stop being so drunk. Alrighty then. Hello. Mama Luigi. <laughs> I know, wrong, wrong franchise. Uh, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Rambo Free on the Mega Drive. Hey, my favorite dude's here. Good evening, my dear. You are you are you need green. Take this smiling eyes green. Take this smiling eyes green. The green things with smiling eyes. The green things with smiling eyes. Dean Bragg. I can never get tired of hearing that. How are you, Dean Bragg? And good evening. Uh, good evening, and uh, hope you have a great week. Yes. And let me just turn down my volume. It's a bit loud on my end. Hopefully I can hear you guys still talk. E yeah, that's good. Right. Okay, let's go, buddies. I'm going to do this on normal. Just to see what it's like. And if I don't like normal, I'll do it easy. How's that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's marvelous to you, Dave. <laughs> Yeah, I, I that's good. You got a second channel, dude. Uh, well done. Um, now you just need some videos on your channel. I'm really looking forward to seeing that. I am doing good retro dues. Yeah, I'm o I'm okay. Uh, I had a good uh, a good uh, work eventful day. Uh, I've been being the doing my usual food bank work, and uh, I'm sorting out my bedroom now because I want to get rid of my more, more of my stuff. And uh, you never guess, guys. I made like over a hundred quid last week by selling my retro games. And I'm going to keep on doing it. I really love selling my retro games. I just like, I should have done this like ages ago. But, you know, B was just going like, why do I hoard? And another great news, guys, is I stopped hoarding now. Yeah. You heard me right. Uh, I stopped hoarding. I'm getting tired of it. So, um, yeah. Now I can concentrate on setting up for my PC. I can be the most happiest lad in the whole world. And uh, I'll be the really... And I need to upgrade my monitor because it's so out of date as well. Because I know you do 720p, which is bad. So uh, I need to upgrade that. Uh, yeah, I've got a lot to upgrade for. You know what I might do, guys? Um, if you want to, guys, help me out get my new 4K monitor, I could do an Amazon wish list. Wish list and I could... Just, yeah, you, you can see that if you want anyway, just to help me out a little bit. I don't mind it. Um, but yeah, <laughs> now I'm struggling to save it for a PC because I'm just trying to be super patient. It's it's taking an emotional toll on my health. I'm just getting really impatient though. Adrian. Yeah, I gotta remember to not get in the. Oh no, that's bad. I died again, and I'm not even Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, I can't believe that announcement. That was, yeah, I, that was a really good announcement from Konami. Yeah, oh, I'm so buying that as well because I don't have to worry about paying for the NES version of uh, Manhattan Project. Yeah, it's too much money. I can't afford it, and I'd rather get it cheaper to be honest. A digital copy, it makes more sense to get a digital copy because that's what I like about Capcom uh, Mega Man collection games. You know, they're like half the cost of like. The official NES cartridges because they're stupidly crazy money now. I think it's important mm. to remember there is a difference between collecting and hoarding, but however, yeah. there is a fine line between the two. Yeah, you're right though, Dave. Yeah, yeah. I mean, with me, I was hoarding a lot of games that I wasn't playing though, so that's the reason. Yeah, you are the law. You're the law number one on the west side, on the east side, and I don't know why I'm saying on the west side. I don't know why. Maybe the south or northwest now. <laughs> oh, I can have a little chuckle, right? But yeah, I I will still be collecting NES games, Game Boy games, Mega Drive games, of course. Um, it's just I'm getting rid of my lot of stuff like Dreamcast, PS1, PS2, PS3. I got rid of my PS3 collection, so uh, I'm pretty happy with those. And some Game Boy games I'm keeping because they they're actually really good fun. I love playing Game Boy games. I grew up playing mostly Game Boy games anyway. Yeah, that, that's the secret trick is to not go... Yeah, expose yourself. Mm. Ah, come here, Mr. Hein. 
Just a hind D. Oh, oh, come here. There we go. You go kaboom. <laughs> yeah, um, you know what? I'm really happy, guys, because I booked my Sonic 2 movie. Yay! I can't wait. No, I can't. <laughs> I am so looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of games. I wonder how much it's going to cost, though. How, how? Yeah, how much? How much do you reckon, guys? It's going to cost for the collection. I reckon it's going to cost about either nineteen ninety nine or fifteen ninety nine. I, if they go with fifteen ninety nine, I'll happy to pay that because that's a really that is a bargain of a century. I mean, especially those half those TMNT games are going up a stupid amount of money now. So I'm thinking like. Why not buy the digital version and that way I have a collection? I do like owning collections because you think about it this way. It gives me a chance to practice and I can play my live streams with them. And that's what I'm thinking as well. Ah, oh, I see. Right, yeah. Yeah. That's... Yeah, that's that's a huge problem, isn't it? Yeah, when you accumulate so much gaming collections, it, it can it can really overwhelm you, dude, as well. Yeah, that's hoarding, definitely. Oh yeah, I I was doing that. I'm not an agent. All oh, right, I gotta find this agent, apparently. Uh, I don't know where he is. I like the fact they use the same sound from the uh, Predator game. I think that's really cool, though. I know, isn't it wicked though? Wrong button. Right, I need to find this other dude. I don't know where he is. He might be up here, I think. Hopefully. Where are you? I can't even escape yet. I need to find that other dude. Yeah, I mean, hoarding with me though was the biggest problem of my life though, and it was the biggest culprit of my emotions. And that's why I try to tell myself now is to stop buying so much. <laughs> oh, that king thing from CDI Zelda, yeah. I wonder what's for dinner. <laughs> Octorok. <laughs> uh, what it, I like it. Was that uh, magician? He goes like, Squalala, we're off. <laughs> I know. Squalala. That is so gay. <laughs> That is incredibly Nintendo gay. Nintendo gay, though. <laughs> oh, you're on holiday. Woohoo! I'm I got wait to go on my holiday in May. Yay! I've got a long way to go before I go on holiday. And I've got one in July, and I've got one in uh, September, and then hopefully in November. Sort out. I'm not the secret. Oh, which one are you then? I can rumba, man. <laughs> oh, guys, uh, did you enjoy that uh, Mega Man video that I uploaded? Let me know what you thought of it. I really enjoyed making that video. I thought there was a little bit of an audio issue with one of my videos, but it's okay now. I'm pretty happy now. Um, but uh, I'm glad I made it because I really love that game. Mega Man 2 is just one of the most best games ever. <laughs> yeah. I know it's you, this stupid chat said Square Daylight is meant to be Squadalar, not Square Day. <laughs> oh, you! I'm not the cigarette. Which one are you? It's like looking in the needle in a haystack. Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Miss, is there is McStabbin? Yeah. Oh, I forgot. If you stab, you have to get bonus items. Excellent day. Yeah, you have to know, like, let me know what you thought of it. Gaz Love Games loved it. Um, he really enjoyed it. So I'm, and I got another guy. He said 100%. Yay! Yeah. So I'm very happy now. It was a good week. I had a good week this week. Um, I'm really, I'm really pleased with the government because, um, you know, the price hikes are going to go up in a, in April next month, and uh, apparently, I'm going to be getting 150 quid in um, energy to, off to offset the energy cost which I'm really happy with because I was dreading this because being poor like myself is not helpful ah there he was he was right there this dungeon will explain too is hurry up right I gotta get out of here I gotta get out of here I know I'm not Arnold but doesn't matter <laughs> go 
Come on, Sly, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Yeah, I did. What the hell? It's like a bunch of gay soldiers just like we're going, Oh, look at you, Sally. Oh, look. Oh, look at this Frederick. Oh. <laughs> oh, I like how you did your nails, mate. Oh, I love it. How you did your nails. <laughs> Sorry. I know that's a bit cruel. <laughs> that was a bit weird. You should divert the enemy's attention by blowing up the Arsenal. Arsenal Football Club! Sorry, that was terrible. The way Colonel Truman will not... That was too fast. Go to the Arsenal Football Club! <laughs> I know, that was really bad, wasn't it? Hey, that's good wittiness. <laughs> uh, oh, glad you found it funny. Uh, I know this that bow and arrow doesn't do anything. Boom! Boom! <laughs> I love things when they go boom. Don't you love it when things go boom? <laughs> oh, everybody loves it when it, when uh, tanks explode, when uh, you blow up the uh, RPG crew, and uh, yeah, you know the rocket fell grenade group. Right. Uh, da, da. Yeah, 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 I, I got it now. I got it. I could go to Arsenal Football Club and say hello. Yeah, I'm going to buy out your team. Oh, my God, guys. What is going on with Ukraine lately? It's like, let's go and bomb some more flats. Let's go bomb some more schools. It's like, oh, my God. Can they not get any more worse? And what is Putin doing? I mean, come. I mean, how much power can this lunatic keep going on for? I mean, he's gonna go. He's gonna be like bomb whole whole of his homeland at this rate. I mean, what do you guys think about it? I am. I'm just shocked and I'm just in rage. It's disgusting. I mean, Joe Biden was saying like, you know, let's ban uh, Russian oil. Brilliant idea, Joe Biden. You know, you had no brain cell. <laughs> oh, why did they do that? Oh yes. Oh. Now, why do they keep doing that? Oh, it's so gay. Stop being so gay, soldiers. Ooh. Glorious. Mega Drive, slow down. Oh, no. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Why? Do, yeah, exactly. Why do they say the Ukraine? It's called Ukraine for a reason. And... And it's like, oh my god, people. And, and you know what pisses me off the most, uh, Davis? These narcissists and psychopaths who go like, pray for you, Ukraine. And then there's bimbo models who go like, oh, pray for Ukraine. It's like, they're not doing it for Ukraine. They're doing it for their fucking ego. It's disgusting. I hate when people do that. It's like, don't play with their lives because they're, in suffer they're suffering at the moment. Just for their stupid, shallow fucking likes on their fucking Instagram post. You know? It's just, that really pisses me off. It's so disgusting. I mean, have a heart, people. I mean, you know. How about send money to the poor people of Ukraine who have to fight these malicious Russian soldiers to just to, to survive? I know, it, it is so bad. It's, it's, you know what? I'm really, I hope, I hope... You know, I don't want to think about it, but I know I'll keep thinking about it anyway. Do you think Putin's going to get the nuclear bottle now? Yeah, I know. That's that's what annoys me, though. Because they go like, eh, eh, I want to get likes on my video. Eh, I want to get some people to go follow me. Meh, meh, meh. It's like, oh, come on. Just like, how about send some money? I like, I like uh, Ashton Kutcher because he actually sent money to Ukraine. Exactly. So, he's awesome in my book. Why don't people do that? Stop glorifying their bloody lives and just send money. Send money and make people happy. You know, they have a fighting chance. Do you know what I'm saying, guys? It's just this... Oh, man, this game is hard, isn't it? But I like it. It's kind of, it's my kind of hard game, you know, and that's a good thing. I suppose I'll get better at it if I, keep, if I just use the right tools for the right job. The right tools for the right job. Right, I need bombs for you. One, two, three. 
and I go like one, two, three. What? Ooh, yo, 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 Where's the Jeep who's not very cheap? Oh no, what is... Oh, I don't have any more. Sucks. Whoa, bombs away. Oh, crikey, slow down. Must keep using knife, I get bonus items. Ah. Uh... <laughs> it's Wretched Dude Hard, yeah. Oh, I like... I love slow down because it really helps you escape. Ooh. Go on, go on, Sly. Go on. Go on, keep going. Yeah, you you do actually get more bonus points to stabbing enemies, which is weird. I know, it's odd, isn't it? Ah! I go, no! <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think it came out, what, early 90s, I think? I don't know. Um, you guys probably can check on Google. Um, they'll tell you when it came out. I, I think it came out early 90s, if I remember. I did see a Mega Drive magazine promoting this game quite a long time ago. Uh, yeah, it must have been like, what, 90, 90 or 91 around that era? I don't know. I'm probably going to be uh, gonna saying, Blasphemy, you should be knowing this. You're retro, dude. You should know your gaming history. But I don't know every single history. I'm not a psychopedia. Crikey, I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like going like, I'm like Joe Biden. I'm like going to, like, I'm going to forget stuff. <laughs> oh, Din Din's, you got to, yes, you got to eat. <laughs> Food is delicious. You must eat. <laughs> hey, what are you eating, um, Dave, tonight? Whoa, get rid of these lot. Mm. Wow. Oh, yeah, just use, just use your guns. Just use your bloody guns. That really helps. <laughs> uh oh. Um, right. Bombs away. Oh. Don't think I can see you in the bush, mate. Ah. <laughs> ah. Uh, uh. Yeah, it had a physical release, yes. Yeah, uh, I'd love to own it again, because that's, that's, it's a really good game, this. Chunky Stick? Oh, that's nice. Oh, that sounds really nice. Do you have, like, a peppercorn sauce or um, anything like chips, gravy? Uh... Yeah, guys, tell me what foods that you're eating at the moment and um, while you're watching me. That'd be really cool, actually. Um, oh, I wasn't trying to think to say as well. Oh, I forgot to get items. I'm such a silly ninny. Oh. Do, 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 do. Oh, crap, 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 crap. They have, like, they have, like, cold bullets. Cold, cold bullets, I meant to say. No, because they're, they're bullets like, like, coal. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I've got coal on the mine. It's so weird. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to turn into a Yorkshire lass that I know from work. I'm going to, like, oh, I need some bread cake. <laughs> yeah, I will love some bread cake right now. Oh my god. Uh, yes, I know I'm not from Yorkshire. But this is the problem where I work. I, I actually um, pick up a lot of ling lingo from uh, other staff members. So um, I can't help it. I can't help it. <laughs> I can't help it the way I, I'm... I'm caught. I, I don't know what I'm saying. Man, they sure love to beat my ass, don't they? Oh, what the... Right, save state that bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to. Right, let me do that. I know, I know it's sacrilege, but this game is actually pretty. Um... Oh, I don't. I'm sure I could beat this. I've done this a billion times before. Right, bomb that one. One, two, three. Get... Ah yes. <laughs> oh, that is so nice. Especially with onions. Oh my god, like, onions is pure sex. Oh, it's so weird on Discord. Uh, I like it. You always it you were saying about Eggman. I said Eggman, and we started talking about scrambled eggs, and then Yoshi Fanatic was saying like, uh, what? How about uh, Yoshi Yoshi omelet eggs or something? I don't know. Um, I thought that was quite fun banter. I like when you 
I like we all talk like that. It's really good banter. Um, whoa, I'm gonna run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. What's that tune? Uh, oh, was it called Run Away? Something, something. If you guys know what I'm talking about, let me know. But I don't know really. Oh, guys, I want to ask you a question anyway. Is tonight is um, if you were an an, if you were a one animal, what would it be? Uh, me, I want to be a rock hopper penguin because I like rock hoppers. They are awesome. They look like rock stars. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think they're amazing birds. Uh, yes, I know people keep saying they're animal, but they are actually birds, aren't they? Well, it's technically the same, isn't it? Oh, guys, uh, what made me laugh today was um, I I had like a, a job coach today, right? Because I'm gonna look for another job um, in the future, and um, <laughs> and she said to me, you know, is Google is Google Mail the same as Gmail? And I, I, and I had a facepalm moment, and I thought, oh, come on, it's the same thing, sweetheart. Eek. <laughs> Shark or raven? Oh, what? Yeah, what would it be? It sounds like you would be a shark. Shacks. <laughs> Hooray! Beating it. Woohoo. Right, dig out the high... Oh, no, it's the tank this time, isn't it? Whoa, whoa. Oh yeah, I gotta remember when he comes out. Shoot, quick. Then. Whoa. That's it. It's like the in and out game, as I call it, the in and out in and out routine. Uh huh. Wow, that didn't go far, did it? Whoa. Whoa, come here, come here. Ooh. Come here. I want to watch you explode. Come on, explode tank. <laughs> Retro Dude replay. Retro Dude gets really tired. <laughs> oh, come on, blow up. Blow up, you son of a bitch. I'm surprised he's missing me. He's missing me. On purpose. Way that was good. First try. Nice. Nice. Oh, was it Sir Arnold Schwarzenegger says the Terminator 2, the arcade game? Nice shot. There you go. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, what is what is being mainly happening to me is I'm just doing a lot of like decluttering and just moving stuff around really and just making my life a little bit easier, more happier, and I want to be more happier because I don't want to be miserable all my life. And if I have three million games in my bloody collection, then, uh, well, not three million. I don't have the space for a three million game collection, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, you can watch this later anyway, so there's no, there's no problem with that. I'm just going to keep playing the game anyway. Right. Stabby stab. I want to stab you. Stab. Stab, stab, and he dies. Why? Why do you stab me in the back? For no bad reason. There. <laughs> uh, uh. Well, at least I accumulate loads of bombs. That's good, eh? <laughs> I like the fact it's using the same engine as the uh, Predator 2, though. I think that's really cool, though, isn't it, though? In fact, I did play that on my YouTube channel. If you want to check that out, guys, Predator, Predator on Mega Drive. Um, yeah. I think it's unlimited in this one, which is which is it's it's kind of a good blessing because I want to try and play games like without using save state anyway. I'm trying I'm trying to resist. I know it, it's good to be um I want to be a better video game player and just not to rely on save states all the time. But fair enough, I will use save states if I have to do another part, like say part 1, part 2, part 3, then use, you say, yes, then you save state for that. But I obviously wouldn't, I wouldn't use it though, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm trying, what I'm trying to say to you guys, I'm trying to resist using save dates as much as I can. Even though if I die a lot, it doesn't matter though. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, come on. Here's my cherry pistols. Cherry, uh, cherry bullets. Would you like some cherry juice? Here you go, mate. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you some cherry juice. There you go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, it looks like blood coming out of his gun, isn't it? Like that's Sylvester Stallone's blood as, Ram as John Rambo. <laughs> Rambo is bleeding blood. <laughs> I know, that's kind of weird, isn't it? That's kind of strange to think about that, isn't it? Now, I don't know if you have to... You have to go into a certain room to blow up stuff, I think. I hope I'm in the right one. This this place is confusing. I know, I know. You, you got you got to do a lot of trial and error and find the right one. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's this one. No, no, it's not that one. Ah, oh, at least the music's good, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I like the music. It's, it's quite soothing. Whoa. That's the... Yeah, I know. You've got to be careful with this, haven't you? Whoa. Oh, it must be this one, yeah. There we go. Ah, uh... oh, yeah, there's one of the helicopters I need to take out, I think. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, and also they're going to put the NES version of Tournament Fires, which is really good a bonus as well, I think. I'm glad they're putting the arcade version of um, um, <clears throat> the, uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja, uh, Ninja Turtles uh, back in time. Oh, you know, that um, Turtles in Time. Thank you. That's the one, yes. Yeah, that's, that's a really good arcade game. I love that game. You know what, dude? If I get the collection, I probably will live stream it on the PS5. If you guys want me to do that, um, I might do that. That'd be good fun to play on the live stream. Right. So you got to get 100% to finish the level. So that's basically what you got to do. You got to do. You got to do. <laughs> I need my bread cake, and I sort of died. <laughs> I know I'm not from Sheffield, but it doesn't matter. I think I might have to use save states for this. I'm gonna have to, because this this is one of the longest levels in the Mega Drive history. No checkpoints either. That's really stupid, isn't it though? I like that. Look at that ammo, it says Sega. I think that's class, isn't it? <laughs> Sega branding on uh, ammo caches. <laughs> that's quite funny to think about that, isn't it though? Yeah. La 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 la. Oh, um, speaking of games, I've been playing a, a good uh, two hours today of Star Wars, the um, you know the original NES game. I really love that game. Um, it's it's quite a challenging game. The only problem is I don't like the Astro bit. That Astro bit is the most hardest bit in the whole game. I mean, like you got to got like do weird turns to avoid it. It's just so bizarre, isn't it? Dude, right. Where, where, where? Oh, down, down with me. Ooh. I got to make shoot you, make shoot you in the uh, big, big ribs, big ribs with chips and coke. <laughs> I know, that's a weird morbid look at other things, isn't it? <laughs> so, guys, what are you up to this week? And um, what courses are you doing? Um, what games are you playing at the moment? Are you excited for? Um, you know what I'm really wanting? I'm really wanting that Shredder's Revenge to come out now. I'm. It's been like announced last year, right? And they never, they haven't done the release date yet for that game. I mean, what's up with that? Uh, you press uh, the A button. Yeah, it's the A button. So that's how you do it. It's pretty simple if you think about it. Sorry, Sega. Sorry, I had to blow your stuff up. Yep, Sega is no more. <laughs> now, I've just got to try and think where the other lot are. 
I know, it would help me if I had a map. Oh, I, do you know what I could do? Oh, hello. Um, I can go on the internet and actually find a map for Rambo, the game. Ah, oh, here we go. I'll do that in a sec, actually. Oh, help me. That way, because it... Oh, that is a good idea. I didn't think of that, did I? Bloody... Bloody hell! Alright. Um... <laughs> I know. No checkpoints. This is what you call a satanic level. No checkpoints. Got to do it all in one go. How are you supposed to do that in this game? It's crazy, man. Seriously. I mean, no one can... No one can do it. Um... Yeah, tell you what, let's see if I can survive long enough not to die. And I'll save up that bit. I'm gonna have to. It's gonna take forever, isn't it? Right down below. I gotta do a down below and then um, figure out how to uh, how to survive without dying. Adrian! 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 <laughs> I can't believe I keep saying Adrian! I know, that was in the Rocky movies. Yeah, I love the Rocky movies. They're really good fun to watch. I like the one with Clover Lang. I think he's... I think he was cool. Especially when he actually says, I pity the fool. <laughs> yeah, so good. So good. <laughs> it is so good. Right, I need I need bombs for this. Bomb you, Sega. Bomb you, Sega. Oh dear, he got hurt. No, he got hurt for no apparent reason. Poor Sly. Poor Sly. He doesn't need all the abuse in the world, does he? Right. Uh, where do I go next? Up? Oh, maybe up. Oh, yeah. Yes. Help me go up, I think. Why am I to blow that thing up? I know it doesn't allow you to move. Weird, isn't it? Right, not that way. Oh, crap. <clears throat> I know, this is what I'm going to dread all night, this level. I'm sure I could do it. I know I could do it. Just gotta, gotta have a patience of the virtue, and virtually patience of patience is. So I oh, just gotta try and survive. La 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 la. I know this is going to be sacrilege, but I'm going to have to use safe state tonight for this. Uh, whoa, yo. Ouch. Yikes! Yeah. <sighs> oh dear. Ah, oh, yike, a rumba. Oh, I know, maybe I should use the boomerang. Whoa, oh, go away. Maybe, do you know what I could do? Maybe I could just, um, I'm not sure. I, I'm really not sure what to do, though. It's a brutal game, this is. Oh, there's another one there. I didn't see that one before. Uh, oh! 
Yeah, like like in the actual move when he goes like, ah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I, I miss Sly. I miss Sly's work. He's so good. He's a really good actor. I really like. I like his movies a lot. They're good. They're very good. Very well made. Yeah. Hey guys, tell me in the comment section what is your favorite Sylvester Stallone movie. Let me know in the comments. Yes. Uh, uh. Ooh, crikey. Uh. Um, which way? That's a good point. Which way, indeed? Ah, here we go. Ah, oh, crap. Right, I'm going to have to, aren't I? Hey, he's back. He's back from you. That was quick, din din. You must have gulped it all the way down like Garfield the cat. Meow. You know, like, he just goes like, eats lasagna, goes like this, and shove, shove, shove. <laughs> now, I'm not, obviously, I'm not saying you did that, of course. Escape plan with Arnie. Oh, cool. Yeah, I like um, I like Demolition Man. That's one of his best works, I think. Especially the one with um, what's his name? Oh, uh, da, da, da. I know, he, I know who he is though. Ah. Oh, what's his name? Oh, forgive me, I'm old. <laughs> but he's a really cool bad guy. I really like him. He goes like, Simple Simon says. <laughs> oh God, who's what's his name? You guys probably know what I'm talking about. I'm going like, Wretch Dude's talking out of this bum again. <laughs> right, okay. Um, mm. Jeez! Oh. It's like, ach, no! Yeah, I don't, I don't want to... Right. Ah, crap. Yeah, I, I don't know what's... Yeah, uh, about that, guys. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, you should see. It's really good. I think you'll like it. He, he goes like... um, uh, <laughs> It's got Sandra Bollocks in it, as I call her. I don't, I don't like Sandra Bullock. I, she's called Sandra Bollocks for a reason, because she can't act. <laughs> no, I can't stand her. She was crap in speed. She annoys me in Demolition Man. All she does is like, I'm a bimbo, bar bar bar. That's what she does. She's like, she's characteristic as a dumb blonde. And I go, oh, dumb brunette. I don't like her. I'm sorry, but she's shit. <laughs> she's not, she, she just annoys me. This is why I like Keanu Reeves. He kicks ass. He's God in my world, man. Keanu Reeves is legend, man. A bloody good legend. <laughs> Although I never seen the Matrix Resolutions. I heard it. Is it Resolutions? Oh, what's it called? Resurrection. Thank you. Is, is it Resurrection? Yeah, that one. The new one. Um, I heard it was really bad. It was like super bad. And I just went, no, no thanks. Me don't want to see bad movie. <laughs> Me don't want it. No more. <laughs> I, I did hear it was at a cack though, so I said no, no thanks. <laughs> Not Retroduce Cup of Tea, to be honest. Although, I know, um, I haven't watched Arnold movies in a long time though. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Did you? Oh, oh, that's good. My, great minds think alike. It. <laughs> yeah. She is a load of bollocks anyway. She's a man. <laughs> oh. What's a dilf? I I don't know what you mean by a dilf. I never heard that word until you mentioned it today. Bomb. Bombs? You want it? You can have it for more rubies. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. 
56%. Now, can I get to 100%? I, that's a great question, but I'm scared. I am very scared now, because this is going to probably get really malicious now. I don't know, but we'll see. Bram, bram. Yeah, that's what he did in um, one of the movies, isn't it? If I remember. Yeah. Right. Bombs away. Bombs away. <laughs> oh, that's what it means. Oh, okay. No, it's the first time I ever heard Dilf. <laughs> That's quite funny. Oh no, you're not gonna kill me today. Woo! That was that was cheeky. That was cheeky. Ah, oh, still not done yet. Tell you what, let's save here actually, guy. I don't want to do all this again. Well time for me to go have a good day with you. Wow, you're you're finishing early again. Dude, come and stay in the chat with us. Is there a reason you actually go leave early in my live streams? I notice you do that every 40 minutes. I notice that. I'm just just wondering. That's all. No, I'm not. I'm not going to question you. I just. I just want. I'm just a bit surprised that you watch my live streams and you just go away though, when I don't finish the game. That's all. I mean, if if I want to play Mega Man, you know, the game. I mean, you're not going to watch all the way through, are you? That seems a bit pointless. If you request the game, then I won't play the game, will I? So, I'm just curious, that's all. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, she is a quiet girl and a quiet boy at the same time. I, I That new movie, though, what's she doing now? Uh, the one with the... She's wearing a purple, purple sparkle dress that looks so gay. That looks so stupid. It's like she's written a novel and apparently her characters come to life. Uh, it just looks... It's a stupid movie that's been done three million fucking times. I mean, why, why, why? Why, 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 why? Oh, of course, the helicopters, yeah. Oh, yeah, the helicopters. It's this one, isn't it? Ah, yes. Come on, come on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Go away, soldiers. Ooh, oh, crap. <laughs> right. Ooh, blow up, yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Maybe I I don't know. I mean I'm I'm. This is kind of weird to say that. I I think he's a bot though. He sounds like generic, like same thing. Like I don't know. Maybe he does sound like a bot. Maybe I don't know anything about him. Maybe he he's just an AI. He's playing tricks on me. Oh, Exa, escape! Go on. Yes, I can leave. <coughs> Hooray! I hate that level. It's horrible. Ah, oh, good. I hate, I despise that level. I despise it with a passion fruit, <laughs> like an actual fruit that is a full of passion. La passion fruit. <laughs> oh no, not you. Ouch. Ouch. Uh, oh my god, look at those tanks. There's so many of them. Oh yeah. That's a crazy amount of tanks to go for one guy, isn't it though? That is just silly. That is like OTT over the top. <laughs> and how many soldiers do you need to kill John Rambo? That's just silly now. That's getting really OTT to the piss take, that is. Look at them. They're like, as I call them, soldiers. Les soldier green. Green soldiers of death. <laughs> oh, slow down. 
Slow down. Oh my god, it's slow down. <laughs> oh, glorious Mega Drive. I can't keep up with a CPU. That's why it slows down like a bitch. Uh... Oh, look at that Q. That is like coolest Q ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's what's called a tank wanker. <laughs> He's a tankist. <laughs> I know, that's a weird new word. I'm going to call it a tankist. <laughs> I don't know. I probably offended someone now if I said it in the wrong word. I'm super sorry. Uh... Maybe I was supposed to nuke those helicopters, maybe? And then exit? What do you guys think? I think I need to... I need to take out these helicopters of death. Mm. You for you. One for you. <laughs> yeah, one for you. And then... One for you. Here's a bomb present from Retro Dude. And another bomb present. <laughs> and another one. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're supposed to do. Oh no, there's another tank. Get away from me. I'm not going to take you on. You're going to be a pain in the bum. He's going to be a pain in the bum. Oh, trikey, look at that. Wow, this is really scary. Oh, uh, what? Oh, yeah, I do like... I do like the idea, you know, if you go... Uh, Form a team, mate. Yeah, it's good. It's good for morale boost, isn't it? What the hell? What the hell was that? It's on like it's on like Jenna's farted in my face. <laughs> the Je Sega Jenna's fart. <laughs> you know when it, the CPU craps out. <laughs> that's that's like a a massive insult to my retro doingness. Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh my god. No. I wonder how many arrows does it take to kill a tank? Let's see. Shall we find out? Oh, three. It takes three to take him out. No, so there's no point then. Uh, it's a bit pointless. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say no. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. Hey, um, Dave, um, Dave. What What are your thoughts about the uh, the cow bung collection? Are you gonna get it? I, I can't wait till it comes out. I wonder when it's going to come out. I hope it's like summertime. That'd be cool though. Yeah. Oh, A team. Sorry. Yes. Sorry. I thought you. Yeah. I get that confused. So you might have to remind me. Thanks. Oh, yeah. I like the the movie version. Yeah, that's fun. The A team. <laughs> yeah. Get into the A, -E -A, -I 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 team. <laughs> Or as they say, the Sly I team. <laughs> and get to the chopper, for God's sake. I couldn't slice you to do. <laughs> Seriously, get to the, the spring chicken. Are you supposed to blow that thing up? What what are you supposed to do there? I I don't know what you're supposed to do there. I'm not gonna bother taking out these tanks. They are scary. I'm not. And they take a huge chunk of your health, Dan. Yeah, I like the movie. It's fun. I like that guy. I like her. Uh, was it? Is it Murdoch? He goes like, you spear me right round, baby, right round on a helicopter. <laughs> yeah, that's really funny. I'm surprised they haven't done a sequel to that. I mean, it was a good, it was a good uh, movie. I really enjoyed that. I like Mr. T in that movie. I thought he was funny as well. <laughs> that Mr. T is no fool. <laughs> yeah, I pity the fool who watches my live streams. <laughs> I know. Uh, that's a really bad thing to say, isn't it? I mean, I want you guys to watch my live streams because I need viewship. <laughs> I need viewship. <laughs> Retro do praise. Nah. 
Now what am I supposed to... Right, I suppose I meant to take these out. Maybe I need to take out these soldiers, maybe. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Is it? Oh, yeah! Oh, of course, yeah! I have to watch that again! Yeah, I got, I got a lot of... I've been watching uh, Batman uh, vs. Superman, uh, Dawn of Justice. Yeah, that movie's way too long. It's like nearly bloody three hours. It's the longest movie ever. And the Avengers movies were average about, what, two and a half hours. But what is up with DC with their movie lengths? They like, they like to make, like, Lord of the Rings length movies. Like nearly three to four bloody hours. And nobody has the patience to watch through three to four bloody hours of it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, mate. Exactly. <laughs> I pity the fools who don't watch Rescue Dude. I pity the fools that don't watch uh, Black Iron Dude and Moses. I pity the fool that Dean Bragg escapes uh, my live streams every single 40 minutes of every single Wednesday. It's always that same time. It's either 40 minutes or 50 minutes and goes like, uh, how many continues do you get in this game? How, how, what's the health bar like? And it's like, he states the bloody obvious all the time and it's like, Come on, Dean Bragg. I mean, come on. Dude. I mean, you can see me watch the play of the game. It'll tell you. And also, go on Google. It'll tell you. You know what I mean? I don't know. It just... It, it baffles me. It says these things every single time because... I I don't know. Maybe you're right. He is, he is basically Dean Bragg the bot. And goes like, I ain't want to submit the same generic answers to you. Map, map. <laughs> what? What am I supposed? Am I supposed to fire this thing in here? Do you think I should fire that into there? Oh, take it out! Right. Oh. Okay. Is that it? Is that it? Yeah. Oh, weird. Yeah. Whoa, I've got to face two of them now. Jesus sake. Oh, okay. Cool, thanks. That'll be interesting. Damn, that's a lot of hindies. Freaking heck. That is scary, isn't it? Two hindies. That's taking a piss. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, you got to be serious. No, at least I know where to go now. Right, so use the arrow to take out that that pod thing. That Apple iPod lookalike thing. <laughs> I, I don't know. Apple iPod. <laughs> iPod Rambo Pod. <laughs> now if you can get it in exclusive stores for 4 99 If you want to pay DAP extras... Give us 15 million pounds in tax revenue cuts. Oh, I don't know. Uh, if you also want to get our T-shirt and our uh, our cases, now um, uh, sign up to like 300, 365 million dollars for membership, and you will get all these extras delivered straight to your face in in the punching form of uh, a bag. <laughs> and it punch it when you punch the bag in your face, you actually get the instant item from your nose. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ram and then Vesta Salome will actually say, "Oh!" when you get a nosebleed. <laughs> oh, that would be funny, wouldn't it? All oh, right, right, blow that up. Ah, there you go. Is that all? Is that all you have to do? Blow that thing up? <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. What What do you reckon it's going to cost? I re Yeah, let me know what you think. I think it's going to be probably like... If it's like 13 games, I think Capcom... Sorry, not Capcom. I meant to say Konami will want more than... More money, I think. I think they'll do the exact same price as their other collections, I think. For the Castlevania, I think. Yeah, I think they'll charge 15.99. Because that's a re... I think that, that'll get people pleased. I would be pleased with that. Seriously, sign me up. I want it. 
I want Shredder's Revenge as well to release this year. I mean, I want to play as April because she's Chun Li. She's Chun Li, who doesn't know any martial arts, but she can, uh, she can probably kick ass. Why? I mean, I want to play as her. I think she's cool. The stupid banana coat rainbow bitch. <laughs> <laughs> As AVGN puts her. <laughs> uh, I know. I don't know about Cinemasca anymore. I might stop watching now of Cinemasca. I'm not sure now. Whoa. 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 <laughs> yeah, I think so as well, maybe. Yeah, 20 quid's a good price. Yeah. I think I think twenty quid is a sensible price for a thirteen game collection. Yeah, I wonder if you get like um, additional extras, like uh, soundtracks, and you know, similar to Mega Man Legacy Collection as well. I think that'd be really cool as well. Yeah. <laughs> Squad <a> laugh. <laughs> Dave is going to buy the TMNT collection. <laughs> How much do you think uh, the Shredder's Revenge is going to be? I think it's probably going to be more. I think it's going to be like 25 quid easily. Because I imagine because the amount of hard work and effort by the developers and publishers will want more money. <laughs> this is a problem with life. People want more money for things. More money. I'm trying to save up for a friggin' PC. I mean, I, this is what I hate about companies. They get, they shove, like, gaming ads down your throat to say, like, buy our game, buy our game. But then you buy the game, and you're thinking, like, why did I buy the game if I'm not going to play it? That's what really annoys me. I mean, does it happen to you guys when you buy, like, games? Like, say you buy a physical game, and you and you go, like, why do I still have this physical game that I'm not going to play? I mean, does that annoy you? It will annoy me as well, because it's kind of like hoarding, isn't it? So... <laughs> oh, Squay Dayla. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, yeah, squad alert! We're off! Uh. <laughs> so I take it you just gotta basically. Mm, mm. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh. Wah! Wah! <laughs> Wah! Mm. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, will you stop? Come on! Blow it up! Frickin' heck! Hooray! I don't mean funny, I'm gonna save that bit. I'm sorry. Sod it. I'm not doing that again. This is scary. This is well too scary. I know. Uh. Right. Ooh, mm. uh. Oh, yeah. If you pull it on full power, you can actually take out a hind D. Like. Ah, there we go. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, nice. Good one, Retro Dude. Oh, that was good. Mission six, save. <laughs> oh, I know. I, I know. They don't give you checkpoints in this game. It's so bloody annoying. Thank you, game developers who made this game back in the old 90s. You didn't bother putting, like, save state. I mean, save, save checkpoint system. That would help, wouldn't it? You know, I actually would like to finish this game because I've never beaten this game I, ever. So this will be, this will really be a good game to play and beat for once in my life. Oh no, you only get so many continues, don't you? Oh, that's so crap. Uh, oh, sorry, I meant to say load. Oh no, because I've wasted so much continues. <laughs> Did you bring glass of spaghetti? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I want to bomb some of the Octorox. <laughs> See, I never bother with knife, just shoot everybody. I know, this is the problem, you gotta do it again. I can't believe I did that though, I know. Wasted so many continues. Ah. Oh. I know, I know. I I can't believe that. Why would they do that? Sony or Sony can be really manipulative, can't they, with their uh, video game practices of like charging people like forty quid for a car. I mean, why would you spend forty quid on a digital car that has no practical use in real life, except for being in the game? Why? I know it's so bad. It's stupid. It's like I hate microtransactions for this reason alone. It is terrible practice. I think. I think. Um, I think what's going to happen in the future is. I think uh, the government should look into like banning these microtransactions because here's what I think they should do. They should put a complete package in a game for seventy quid, with all the DLC, all the microtransactions included. I mean, I hate the fact that Fortnite gets away with this all the time. They're like they put money, kids like spend on their mother's dad's credit cards to buy like stupid items that you don't bloody need and this is a form of gaming addiction like you know oh one more go and it's like no it's like you got better things to do with your life come on people stop spending on useless crap that you're not gonna use that is so stupid man that just really pisses me off you know these youngsters could go like Oh, I'm going to buy, like, a, a a bow and arrow, and it's got, like, these really daft, like, ponies on it. Or, you know, like, I'm going to get a staff that has, like, a, a machina of, like, I don't know, like, 365, and it, and it kills everything. And it's like, why? Why, 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 why? Just stupidity. Unbelievable. What are you supposed to do here? Am I supposed to bomb a wall? Maybe? Maybe bomb this? No? Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, Barony. Okay, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, I don't know. Let's go. Let's go search over here and see what we got. Oh, I don't know anymore. Uh, what's down here? What's down here? Do. <laughs> Sega, I love you, but you're a real bastard when it comes to continues. <laughs> this is what happens when he sprays blood all over the place. <laughs> it goes like in a weird, an weird anarchy way. Yeah. I know. Why? Do, why are they? I know. This is what really pisses me off, Dave. It's like, why do they have to release another same game that was on the PS3 and the Xbox 360? Why? Why, Rockstar? Why do you piss off the gaming masses? Just do GTA 6, and we can all move on. I don't like GTA 5. I'm sorry, but I know I'm going to be a hypocrite, but I don't like GTA 5. I didn't find the story to be that brilliant, to be honest. It went downhill for me. I'm sorry, but GTA 6, they need to ramp it up. I want to see Nico Bellic come back in GTA 6. If he's not back in GTA 6, I'm officially done with GTA franchise. You, that would be a guarantee. I'm sorry, but, you know, I don't like these other characters. Especially that, that really weird guy who, like... 
He looks like um, he's basically like the poor man's version of um, Cladius. I can't stand him. He really annoys me. He goes like, hey, I'm going to punch people in the face. And stupid. They are cocks. They just... Rockstar, I'm not invincible. I'm sorry, but if you're going to praise Rockstar, don't praise Rockstar because they are such a shit studio. They release beings half broken, especially Red Dead Redemption 2. Come off it, man. I mean, I'm sorry, but the truth's got to come out. I don't like Rockstar. Rockstar really pisses me off. I mean, especially like re-releasing the GTA 5 with new graphics engine, 60 frames a second, first person mode. It's like, I don't care about those things. I want a new story. <laughs> Just a new story so I could be going like, yes, I'll give you money if you give me a new story. I don't want to give you money for the same old story that was released dinosaur consoles ages ago. No, I don't want it anymore. I mean, I'm sick I'm sick of these companies re-releasing old games like and to prove upon its visuals like 50 frames a second, it's like stop with that shit. Yeah. I like that game. Yeah, exactly. That's what I like about that game. Yeah, it's a great improvement on the four though, isn't it? I must play more of that game tomorrow. I really like Forza. I mean, I gotta be controversial right now, because, guys, sorry, is I don't like uh, Gran Turismo games. I'm sorry, but bring the hate, as they say. I don't give a shit about Gran Turismo. I find it the most boringest generic games. And I agree with you, Tech USA, on this video. Do you know what he said? He's actually said it looks like a bloody PS3 game, but up the 4k visuals i mean that's this is what really annoys me i mean oh my god it's like they just they just reuse the same bloody menus as like the old games it's like and no car damage what the hell is up with that it's like oh these precious honda companies are going like hey don't wreck our cars we want to be having recognitions and more car sales it's like but the whole point is of having a car you meant to crash for fuck's sake <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is exactly why I like the NES because there were a lot of great NES games that were very hard, but they were very rewarding. And if, if you don't beat the game, there's no stress. Try again, try and try and try again. But the problem with these new games is, you know, they're, they're getting too um, easier, they're not as hard as they used to be. And then again, I'm gonna be a hip. Someone's gonna call me. Yeah, he's a hypocrite. What about Elden Ring? So what? I don't give a shit about Elden Ring either. I mean, if you like it, that's fine. But with me, I don't like it. Sorry, but I'm not an RPG dude. I'm sorry, but if you like, I don't like Final Fantasy. I like Zelda though. You know why I like Zelda? Because it was a, it's much easier, accessible game. That's why I like Zelda. I'm not a fan of Final Fantasy games. I'm sorry, but they. They're basically, they're basically the equivalent of a, uh, here, here's your social life, and it goes down the toilet. That's why it's it views RPGs, in my personal opinion. No, seriously, I mean, I don't know how these, these greased up big, big idiots are going like, you know, like, I'm going to play like 20, 50 hours on one game. It's like, you can use a better time, like 20, 50 hours of your time to make artwork, make music. Be productive, go look for a job and get a girlfriend, boyfriend, and all that stuff. I mean, this is the problem with video games. They're such massive time wasters. I mean, they, they, they can, it's like a form of addiction. The same with cigarettes. You know, video games are like cigarettes. The more you smoke, the more you keep coming back to it as well. Ah. Bloody hell. Yeah. See, you, that's good you spend £250 on a one game that you actually enjoy. Because if you if you play GTA 5 and you're thinking like, you spend a grand, you'd probably get pissed off, wouldn't you? You'd be going like, I want my money back, right? I bet, have you, have you actually had that before? Saying like, I want my money back. I wouldn't be surprised if he said yes because this is this is this is what companies do. They they 
they pre they prey on the fear of missing out. You know, if you want a, a new level, pay us like pre-order. I hate pre-orders. Did it, this is what I despise in the gaming industry is pre-orders. You know when you get like you know a game. When you go to game, you go like you know, oh I want to pre-order game. And then they do this thing that really annoys me. Do you want to pre-order another game? And another game? And I said to myself, do you think I made a money, mate? I got bills up my ass every month. I mean, I'm not made of money. I can't splash it on every single bloody luxury item, can I? I'm trying to be disciplined. I'm going to save it for a PC. And that's going to be the best goddamn PC I ever, I ever get. Because that is more important to me. Because... What I want to do with my YouTube channel is actually make it better. I want to do 4K streaming. I want to get a better software program. I want a better monitor. I want a bigger monitor. Like, it goes curved so I can put more programs left, right, and center. I didn't print yeah. today, but I did with BSR2, which definitely was FOMO, and I spent about £500. Whoa! Dude! It is! That's just like, that's like, like, it's like half your bank account is disappearing. What the heck, dude? Oh my, oh, ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Uh, please tell me you, you're not going to do that anymore. I mean, I, uh, right on, bloody hell. Christ. Oh, oh, that's good. Oh, that's good, though. I like Apple. Apple are pretty uh, nice. Although I'm not a fan of their products, but they are—they are, they do have very good customer service. I—I I must admit, yeah, you're right. They do, which is good though, because that's what you want from a company that respects you. I mean, Sony doesn't believe in refunds. Microsoft believes in some form. Re Nintendo doesn't believe in refunds either. Oh, did you ask? So, so it, it did I. Am I see? Am I um taking this right? Did you actually spend five hundred pounds on like uh, stuff that you went? Oops! Why did I put five hundred quid? Is that? And then you explain the reason to them. Say sorry, I put five hundred. That's good. They turn it around though, because most companies will probably say, "Well, tough shit." You know, you got to live with it. But it's good you actually went to the company, a reputable company that knows their customers and that's good though because that's what you want this is exactly why I, I i this is why i done my um this is exactly why i done my customer service because i know what it's about because you want to satisfy the customer if you want to um what's the word customers need satisfaction from your uh, customer service because uh, you know if people will say like they got a faulty product, they go like, uh, "Can you give me a refund?" And you say, "Yeah, what's the?" And you say what the problem is, and blah blah, they'll sort it out for you. This is exactly what I do in my job anyway. I do that sort of stuff. But yes, um, it's good to it's good to get help when you uh, accidentally spend. I mean, this is what I, kids kids do this as well because they go behind. They actually use their parents' credit card behind their backs, and they actually say, uh, "Mummy and Daddy, I spent two hundred grand." And no wonder parents get pissed off they spent 200 grand. I mean, come on with it. Like, monitor your kids properly, please. Oh, yeah, I hate when they do that. When they pressurize you to uh, buy into it. This is what I hate about the uh, Call of Duty... Um, Back in the day, when we used to do midnight launches for Call of Duty Modern Warfare, they uh, said, one guy said to me, Hey, would you like a season pass for extra? And I go like, okay then. And it turns out I didn't really need it after all. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, it never said no, but it's uh, like a mind game. And it will be like, maybe later, get your head in. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. I mean... I mean... What, I don't know how to say this in a way, you know, when people spend money on video games, a lot of the time, they, they remove themselves from society. I mean, that's the thing I'm worried about these people. They, 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 they basically are in a video game realm of wealth. They're basically, they're treating Facebook as like a, a social gathering. And I, I, that really pisses me off as well. I mean, come on, just go out, meet people, guys. It's so much better than texting, I'm sorry. Yeah. Reese. 
reticle, reticle cut on Call of Duty. Uh, I don't know. No, I don't know. I mean, Call of Duty's a joke now. I mean, it's just, it's getting ridiculous. It's like, let's release the same generic game, but we coated, we changed the title, repaint the models. It looks hyper realistic. And then you go to yourself, this is the same bloody game every single fucking year. It's the same bloody game. It's like FIFA syndrome. Oh, look, this is FIFA 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 7, 8. Nine. It's like, it's never bloody ending. And also, that's why they go to the bloody charity shops, because they cost like a quid after like a year and a half. Oh, it's only a quid now because it's gone down in price in charity shops. I mean, charity shops, can I be blunt with you? Scrap all your football games and get rid of the bin. <laughs> what was that? Dollar for a standard reticle on a gun. What? On a gun? Oh, for goodness sake. Goodness sake, man. That is just so ludicrous. Ludicrous. Oh, my man. That is so bad. Uh, uh, I don't think I'll beat this game so hard though. Uh, I might have to finish early tonight. Sorry, this game is quite hard. It's bloody hard, man. Mm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay. I just wonder where you go. Getting confused. This place is making me confused. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going half the time. I saw it. Um, it's a never ending. No, you can't go that way because there's nothing there. Da -da -da -da. Oh, you meant to go down, are you? Black, I, to do <laughs> <laughs> uh, I probably will finish this stream early, to be honest. It's kind of driving me insane now. Man, this is the longest building in the history of video games, isn't it? Though? It's the longest, longest bloody corridors of hell i ever seen. <laughs> I wonder what the final boss is like, though. I wonder, I wonder what the following boss is going to be. Oh, no, the soldier's going to get me. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Uh. What? You can shoot through the... What? <laughs> oh, that's funny. You can shoot for that little, <laughs> little bit of the wall. <laughs> that's funny. That's really funny. Uh... Oh, this is crazy, man. I mean, what the hell? Where are you supposed to go, man? Oh, is that where I'm meant to go? Whoa! Go! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that Sly, when he tries to get out of the band, he goes, whoa, whoa, Adrian, Adrian, where are you? <laughs> I also pity the fool that only has one life left. <laughs> I pity myself. And then another thing, um, yeah. <laughs> wall hacks. Yeah. I retro dude loves wall hacks. I love hacks. Hacks are good. Hacks are awesome, especially like video game hacks. Yes, I love those. I love those. It makes the game more fun that way, doesn't it? Especially when you do it on PC, it's ace. Especially mods. Oh, I love mods. I mean, there's hot like Resident Evil um, free mods as well with Jill Valentine in her beginning. Oh my god. Yum. Oh. You know what would really turn me on is the Ghostbuster girl in the in PVC clothing. Oh Jesus Christ, that is so young. Why? 
Yeah, I don't know why, but I had to say it. Adriana. <laughs> Should we save? Yeah, okay. That'll save me do all the market. No, it just, it just saves me. Yeah, I just want to... I don't know where I'm going, though. Where am I going, though? I'm going to get bloody lost, man. <clears throat> I know you I know you meant to Whoa, crap. I know it's quite loud with that mega drive that mega drive gun sound, isn't it though? <laughs> oh <laughs> no, not her. Oh, she's gross. Ew! Ew! No, I, I had a, because I did that Ghostbusters fan art for Ivan Reitman, I had a hot chick like me in my photo, and she was a cosplayer, and she wore like a PVC clothing of Ghostbusters, and I went, oh, oh. I, I had an instant, my mouth was wa my mouth was watering like a dog, I was going, <laughs> uh, no, I like that cartoon dog that goes like, oh, that. That, that cartoon dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, with the big googly eyes. <laughs> I mean, oh my god, girls wearing, revealing uh, PV PVC plastic tops, and it's like, oh my god, it's a massive turn on for me. Can't help it, my, my, my downstairs department was having a, was going like, whoa, this is lovely, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know. See, I didn't say the P word. There you go. I said downstairs department. Everybody says that anyway. That's fine. You two can't tag me for that. Unless Susan Wabberjack is a huge feminist and doesn't like men, then uh, what can I do about it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I, you know what? I would love to actually do cosplay again because you do me. Hot chicks! Oh my god, it's like mmm. I know that girls are like apple pie. They're so delicious. <laughs> you just want to eat them, eat them. <laughs> I, I, with ice cream on top? Yes, please. <laughs> oh, Pepsi Max! Oh, is it that Pepsi Man? <laughs> Did you see me play that game on my turn on fun? Yeah, I, 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 I found that last stage so hard I gave up. Seriously, it's crazy hard that game. I mean, those Japanese people were smart, but they were bloody crazy with that game. Crazy, like mad. Oh, you shot me, you bastard! I'll shoot you back then. How's that? Shoot you back, shoot you back, shoot you back. I got to, I got to do Scottish acting. Shoot you back. <laughs> hey, what's your favourite flavour ice cream? Actually, on a change of subject. <laughs> that looks like a dick. That looks like a dick. See, I can't help it if I got phallic objects in the brain. The video game programs program a dick. Look, look, it's a massive penis. It's a massive winky. <laughs> you bar steward. <laughs> I like how you say these weird fun things. Right, is it this one? Uh, okay. Shit. I like a uh, mint chocolate chip. Mm, yum 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 yum. With a uh, chocolate sauce. Mm, yummy. If that was like my girlfriend as an ice cream, now that would be a weird analogy actually. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but you know what I mean, right? You know what I mean? Oh my god. If if banana ice cream was a blonde, I'll be like, uh, yes please. 
I want a blah ice cream with a blonde, please. <laughs> and she has to put, like, cherries on top. Um, oh, my God. Uh, oh, cherries. Mm. <laughs> yes, cherry on a, a girl's, uh, shall we say, massive mountains. <laughs> yes, mountains of... Mountains of boing. <laughs> boing boing mountains. <laughs> Secret sauce. Hey, hey, what? Oh, uh, no, we won't say that on live stream. No, that, that's too much. Jeez. That is too much. As a Scot would say, that's too much. <laughs> oh, red hair. Yeah, that's hot. Yeah. I like, I like chicks that have the uh, purple hair and um, highlights and stuff. That's a massive turn on for me as well. Yum. I mean, they got blonde streaks. Yes, that is that is like a rainbow heaven of me. <laughs> Black lipstick. What do you like, Goss? Do you? Nah, I I I can't stand Goss. I'm sorry, I'm not a Goth person. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> I just, I mean. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> Mass distraction that is like a, a pro that goes like <laughs> Yes. Titanians <laughs> Titanians <laughs> Titanians of destruction <laughs> Oh was it the one in Simpsons? Uh, Titania <laughs> Yeah I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? No, I'm not. Am I? Am I? Oh, save. Do 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 do. I just want to give you my do retro do do do. A dot dot. A retro. A retro dot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like chicks with uh, red lipstick and purple lipstick as well. Yeah, that's hot too. I'm going to turn into Paris Hilton. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Can I say one thing I saw that really made me laugh was? Paris Hilton. I did not realize this. She had her own cooking show, right? And uh, <laughs> and she goes like, uh, she picks up a, a spatula. And right, and we all know what it was. But then she goes, what's this? And I and we all went and we all going. It's a fucking spatula, you Bilbo Baggins. What else could it be? A fucking fork or a spoon? I mean, oh my god! And, and she she tried to make these marshmallow or cake things, and it, and it absolutely failed. It made me laugh though because she can't cook. She was she was a shit singer. She was a shit cook, and now she's going like. Ah, uh, uh, look at me, because I make millions of money. Ma, 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 ma. Oh, I rescued someone. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Let's do that again. I guess this is like, oh, what? Right, I'm taking out the tank first. Uh, take out the tank first. Mm. Take out the tank. The motherfucking tank. <laughs> Oh. oh, that's... <laughs> this is what it's called, the, the, in, the in and out motion. <laughs> like sexual thing. In and out, in and out, in and out. <laughs> I know, it's such a bad thing to say. I can't believe I said that on live stream. Who cares? Right? Mm. Oh, come on, tank. Just blow up. Oh, crap. Mm. Oh, crikey. Oh, get away. Yay! Tank's blown. Now it's just you. Get out. Go on. Oh, which reminds me, Dave, have you actually played the Rambo 3 on the Master System before? 
That's really hard, though. <laughs> yeah. In and out, in and out, shaking all about. <laughs> I do the hokey cokes and you shoot the hindy. That's what it's all about. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's the end. Hooray! I finished the game. Hooray! Round time. Good. I was always wanting to finish this game. The exploits of this battle forever. After a time, the conflict became bogged down the Soviet army. They are in the love of decided to withdraw all their troops once again. Peace returned to Afghanistan. The world's from this blah 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 will not heal quickly. Possibly not ever. <laughs> nice ending though. I like how they did this parallax uh, graphics work. It's really cool. It's pretty it's pretty good game. It's basically the one that uses the light phaser, the Sega light phaser. From um, Zillion sort of thing, you know, um, it's really cool. You should check that out on YouTube. Um, yeah, it's one of the best Sega light guns they ever created. I'm sorry, but the Nintendo Zapper is shit compared to the Sega Light Phaser. Can we all agree? Sega Light Phaser was a revolutionary technology, and it was actually better because it didn't rely on white flashes. It actually gives you little dots, proper dots that you're supposed to shoot, not like Nintendo's version, big massive red, white, big massive white square blocks on the screen. No, I'm sorry, but that's just um, not good enough for me. <laughs> I like I like it when it bobs up and down. Look at that. It's like... Uh, it looks like he's ejaculating. <laughs> he does. Ra John Rambo is now ejaculating. <laughs> After a long, hard <laughs> shoot. <laughs> Black Iron, <where> did you <laughs> the Nintendo Crapper. Yeah. I, I, I like the Zapper. It was a really innovative light gun, but the problem was it never it never shoot right when you play Duck Hunt. Seeing a light phaser has a really cool trigger that it goes up and down. Like, you know, it goes like, um, when you shoot it, it has like the two trigger system and it goes like this way, that way, this way. That's what I like about the Sega light phaser. It was, it was awesome weapon of a light gun and it looks really cool. It looks like a laser phaser type of weapon that you would see in space uh, movies. This is what I like about Sega because they were inspired of sort of like um, old movies which is good though because that's that's what I like about Sega. They were a very innovative company. I think I like Sega more than Nintendo to be honest. Nintendo has this babyish um, approach to games but with Sega it's basically teenagers adults. That's what I like about Sega. They were more they were more aiming to their adult audiences, and this is what I like about Sega. I still adore them to this day. They're an amazing company. I mean, they, they they made so many fantastic games, and they're still making insane revenue from Sonic, because that's their baby. S you know, Sonic is the what saved Sega, because Sega was going to rely on Alex Kidd to be their franchise, but obviously that didn't turn out very well, did it? So that's why they went, we need a mascot. And that's when... Mr. Needlemouse came to be. And then transformed Needlemouse into Sonic. And then therefore Hedgehog. So, yeah. Well, I'm glad I finished this game. Even though I used to save Sorry. <laughs> I mean, uh, it, is, it is quite a challenging game, though, isn't it? That Yes. So, next week, guys, I've got Yoshi Island Part 5. SNK Girl Fighters, and I, I need to update my other live stream schedules as well. So I'll let you know in a couple of weeks, guys, because I've got my dad's birthday, and my niece's birthday coming up next. Sorry, next Black month. Iron rated you Alex Kidd is definitely <coughs> from Birkenhead, to be fair. Birkenhead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's from Alex Alex Alexvania. <laughs> Alex. Or was it he say like Junkin Bolt? <laughs> yeah. The, yeah, when he does like a uh, rock paper for scissors, doesn't he? With the um the bosses. I tried you know, I did try on Nintendo Switch the uh Alex Kid remake and I thought I gotta be admit I gotta admit guys, it was utter shit. It was crap. Honestly. I mean the fact they charged like what, how much was it for like um I know it's gone down in price, but they like char they have the game have the nerve to charge it twenty five quid, and I thought really for an old Asian game that you could, 
You can get it on the Sega Master System. It's stupidly cheap now. Why charge, like, you know, more for it? Just for, like, prettier graphics. This is so stupid, isn't it? Do you reckon Alex is a scouser? <laughs> a scouser. All right, mate. <laughs> I don't know. He probably sound like a brummy, maybe. Was like, I don't. I can't do a brummy accent. Sorry. <laughs> I can do a Scottish accent. Oh, we Scottish. Ah, ah, I. Ah, I could do like Yorkshire accent. I know this is the problem where I work. I I have this worker who's Richie from Yorkshire. And she just puts words into my head and goes like, oh, have you got some bread gig? Have you got some, like, <laughs> uh, sh should you get your coat? And I, I go like, yeah, I've got my coat. No, I've got my cardi. <laughs> yeah. Hey, all right, sir, Alex is. <laughs> yeah. Alec, Wallach, I call it, in Jonathan Wass, I would say, Wallach, Wallach the Gwid. <laughs> Jonathan Wasp, weekly with you. <laughs> You're a wee haggis, lad. Aye. <laughs> I can't stand haggis, though. Seriously, Day. I, I, I despise haggis. I think it's disgusting. I think what's really gives me so much uh, a revulsion is um, deep fried Mars bars. Why? Why? I mean, you, you want more sugar and more fat at the same time. Stop with that. Ew. Yuck. Oil. There's too much oil in that as well. Don't you think as well? You're thinking like... <laughs> no, I, I'm sorry, but I just... I mean, Iron Brew is a nice drink, don't get me wrong, but it's not exactly good for you, is it, though? Is it? What, you actually like we Huggers? Yeah, what is it? Is it a, it's a sheep stomach, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's... Ugh. Yuck. Ugh. <laughs> Black iron rated you, lad. I love haggis so much, never tried <laughs> deep fried Mars, though. I, I, bet, I bet when you eat it, you get like a you get like a burnt sensation, like melted fat and sugar, though, don't you, when you eat it? It's dis that's really disgusting. Ew. I mean, see, you know what I actually do like, Davis? I like wraps. I like wraps like like you know like burrito wraps that you can have like beans, uh, avocado, fried rice. Yes, those. I mean, um, tomato salsa. That is that is the best food marriage ever. I would eat that instantly. Seriously, it's got good nutrients. You need your uh, tomatoes and stuff. You need avocado. That's really good for your. Uh... Did you know? A lot of people didn't, I suppose everybody who's smart who knows this, did you know avocado is actually really good for your downstairs department? Seriously, avocado is amazing. It makes your, it makes your missile go boing. Yeah. Now I bet kids will go to go, mommy, what did he just say? He said missile go boing. But the kids don't, want, kids shouldn't watch me anyway though, because they're not old enough to watch me anyway. Yeah. Yeah, haggis is so nice. It's cheap, yeah. heart and lungs with Ah, oh, right. It's actually really good, though. It's like a spicy mince. It tastes lovely. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, so you actually Scottish, are you? Black iron rated you, lad. Ah. Oh. I used to think same as you, then I tried yeah. it and was really surprised. Ah, oh, right. Okay. It, it, maybe I'll, I will uh, try it. A little sample, maybe, if it's like a fair on. Or like a food fair. Then I'll give it a go. But I think the problem is, I'm, this is a weird thing, um, I'm not, uh, what veg, what fruit, I'm trying to think what foods I despise, liver, oh god, liver, that is disgusting, liver, I know liver's good for you, because it's rich in iron, but it tastes revolting, I mean, I remember having it at school, dinners, it's like, liver and chips, liver and, liver and mash, and it's like, I just take one bite of it, I go like, Ugh! Uh, I'm not Scottish, but my favorite oh. is I'm from the Wirra, if you know where that is. Wirra? Where's that near at? Um, Trophy hmm. congratulations. Thank you, Restream. Thank you, Restream. <laughs> oh, I love yeah. eggs. I love eggs. I hate eggs and olives. Oh, I had a really nice lunch today. I had a bacon and egg sandwich. And it was cooked. It was, oh my God, with brown sauce. Yes, mm -hmm. 
Mwah. I I love anything with bacon and eggs. It's just it is so bloody nice. Bacon and eggs. Yes. Everyone should eat that in their life. It is the best food marriage ever. Oh, what is the best food marriage? Actually, um, actually, you know what I do like? I like, I had a, I had it in America once and it was called a fish. Uh, yeah, I'll wait till you finish. I live about 30 minutes away from Liverpool. Oh, you live from Liverpool. Cool. 30 minutes away. Hey, that's nice. Yeah, I went to Liverpool. I really enjoyed Liverpool. Your Liverpool one, Liverpool one shopping centre is amazing though. That is great. I remember I went to the Beatles Museum as well, and I went to the Cannon Club as well. Where apparently my sister said they didn't perform at that uh, Cannon Club. Apparently they performed somewhere else down the road. I don't know why, but I don't know. <laughs> Fair enough. Russell burgers are nice though. Um, I do like their bacon one. Oh, bacon burger. It's not bad. It's just the only problem is I don't like white bread, though, because white bread is bad for you, though. Isn't it? So, it's it's like bad carbs. I don't want bad carbs in my life. I want good carbs, like whole, like veg, you know, um, fruits, of course. I mean, I've got this is the problem with me because I'm diabetic. I have to be careful how much fruit I consume because it's got natural sugars as well. So, you have to be very careful how much you eat, though. I mean, with me, though. But obviously with you, if you don't have uh, diabetes, so that's, that's actually, that's absolutely fine though. Alright, I'm going to switch this off now, this is driving me insane. Uh -huh. <clears throat> yeah, let's talk normally in the chat. Yeah, let's... Black Iron rated you black. Yes. Mm. Yes, rustlers are nice, but they lower your life expectancy by two years. Do they? Really? I'm not surprised. <laughs> no, I'm seriously, I'm not that, I'm really not surprised with that one, dude. I mean, yeah, oh my god, that's just, that's just gross though, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, the problem is though, pizza can also lower your life expectancy because it's got full of fat as well, it's got like cheese, you know, cheese is fattening, isn't it? So, yeah, got, I mean, this is a problem with dairy products, they can... It's okay to have it in small doses, but don't gorge on dairy because I know dairy is, can be a bit of a has a lot of sugar in it, especially chocolate as well. That's that's the one thing you've got to be Black careful about as well. At least it's not the ghost <laughs> music again. Oh I my god! Bloody music and no, I'm just kidding about Rustler. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Oh, sorry guys. I I, I want to apologize about that Ghostbuster one. I should have disabled the audio. Um. So. I, I would like to apologize for that. I know because it, it was it was going like and then and it's just like say I, I mean this is what annoyed me about Sega. It's like Sega, you could have had like a, a variety of tunes. Why do you have to do a cycle repeat of the same tune that drives me and, and I'm poor your poor souls that are watching my live stream mentally insane, right? You just want to go like, I want to see Wretched do play without the bloody music in my head. <laughs> yeah. But I know, I know, it's it's so difficult to um, balance Black things out, I suppose. Oh, was it funny? Oh, don't worry, it was funny. Oh, <laughs> was it? <laughs> I mean, it did drive me insane. That's why I took my headphones off. <laughs> yeah, but I, I'm sorry for you guys if you heard it, but hey. <laughs> I don't know. I, I did it like this. I went... <laughs> right. Oh, man. <clears throat> oh, oh, I got a really fun week ahead of me next week. I got to do my eye test for a retina thing. It's a thing with my diabetes. I've got to do like a retinal test to see how my eyeballs are doing. It drives me insane because they put like this... This liquid yeah, stuff in your eye, you go like, oh, I'm doing. Never see Spider-Man Maximum Carnage on SNES and Mega Drive, where one of yeah. the black Travis. Yes, I yeah, exactly. Uh, that's exactly what Av Gen said. Yeah, I know. It's so bizarre that someone did that program in that without getting a license. They, they, I'm surprised. Did they actually get sued by that? 
I wouldn't be surprised if they got sued for that from Black Sabbath band. Because that is just so similar to that. Da, 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 da. I know, it's like... I mean, how, how can... I know, they got away with so much. And that game is brilliant. I think I will play that if you want. Um, I like to play that game because that's a really good beam up. And, I, and there's another game I want to play. It's like the, the uh, Superman, um, Super Nintendo. The Death of Superman on Super Nintendo. That's a pretty good game. Even though it's got really weird goatee characters that I don't understand. Nah. <laughs> Fair enough. It's like, it's so many goat. <laughs> It's, a, it's like, for goat's sake, it's like, goaty goat, go goat. It's like, I don't want any more goat. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to turn you into a Yorkshire mass. I'm going to like, I want some goat. <laughs> uh, and it's like, oh no, I, I just want some goat. <laughs> it's like, oh, for goats, a oh, goat's sake. <laughs> now nah, you're probably all getting sick of me saying my goat jokes there, right? Black Iron Road to Judas. <laughs> yeah, Maximum Carnage, it's so good, shame, it's so expensive. How much is it on eBay? Oh, how much money? I'm on eBay. Duh. I could go on eBay now and find out how much it costs now. I bet it's really Black bloody expensive. Spider-Man Maximum Carnage, is Yorkshire. It? Yeah, Yorkshire Maximum. Maximum Carnage. Seventy-five quid for a bloody loose car? Are you kidding me? What? That is really ouchy. And it, uh, yeah, you only found two. There's one. That's like one for sixty quid. Bloody hell! Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, can I ask you about your second channel? What do you want to? What do you want to do for your second channel? Are you going to talk about, you know, who's your favourite band, top tens of best songs, and how do you feel listening to the songs? Is that what you want to do with your channel? Because I think that'd be... The only thing you, I was just be careful, though, is um, copyrighted material, though, might be your issue, though. That's the only thing I would was, I was say. Just, just, be, just be ready when you get, like, copyright claims from record labels and, you know, just make sure you get the actual licence. If you want to, I mean, I don't know if you, what can you do though? I mean, this is the problem with YouTube, it's broken ass copyright system. If you put like a copyright music, you know, for a long period of time, you could, if you do it on Twitch, you could apparently get um, your account terminated because I've been held, uh, which is really extreme though. But, I, mean, I don't know, they might have, Twitch might have got around that issue now of like, you know, you could still play copyrighted music on your live streams. I don't know. I mean, this is, this is the problem with our internet world, you know. Copyright is is abused. I want to do album rankings and review and stuff. So ranking Motorhead and Saxon albums uh. to best. Oh, okay. Also, I don't really right. plan on playing any music in my vids. Oh, okay. So I think see you should be fine then. I mean, if you're gonna do discussion points, then. I mean, it's okay to play a little sample, uh, like say ten seconds of your um, of your music, any music video. I mean, it's okay though, as long as you don't play like the entire clip without transformative means, because that's the beauty of fair use, bud. Because fair use gives you that tool to talk over the footage or talk music. But then the problem is, record companies don't believe in fair use, so some of the time they just copyright claim, copyright claim, copyright claim. Everybody, that's the new. It needs to change in the next couple of years. It needs to be reformed better. You know, if we want to pay for a digital license to, you know, so we can put music in our live streams, then yes, do that because you know all the record labels will get the money. Then they won't, they won't slam you with copyright claims. I mean, Susan Wabajack, come on, man. I mean, fix, fix it for God's sake. Fix like your broken ass copyright system. Put like a, you know, like a. An option like you know, can I pay like say a forever license like say a hundred and fifty quid, or or like I don't know like a fifty quid for like a year to use music in your videos, because that way that'll go to that'll go straight to the artist pockets. The more people sign up, the more people sign up, the better you know you. I don't know Jabberwocky yeah. 
Yeah, she is a jabberwocky, and she's still there. <laughs> oh, um, Quantum TV, go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Quantum TV, what a dumbass fuck he is. Do you not, did you hear what he did? He apparently was copyright claiming another small YouTuber because he was because he didn't like his likeness in the video. And I just instantly thought, you know, this is, I mean, it's against YouTube terms of service. You can't do that. And he's going to be in trouble for it, though. And I hope he gets the full wrath of uh, YouTube, though, because you don't, you don't go around false copyright and claim another guy just because it was transformative media. He spoke and he used footage and he talked over. He discussed, which is fine under fair use. Because that's the beauty. This is what it's, it's, it's like a scholarship thing. You know, when you do like a degree, you've got to talk about blah, 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 blah. And here's a footage of this. It's the exact same, this is the exact same teachings that they should do on YouTube. In fact, why doesn't universities look into doing this? Like, forever changing the media landscape of like you know if i'm if um nintendo is just supposed to go like um oh we don't like you playing music in the background can you copyright claim how about nintendo give me a license so i can pay you that way you won't give me a copyright claim in my ass how about that and then everybody wins because then then angry video uh, sorry angry video game nerd no, what? No, I meant nerd. I, I meant to say, Angry Joe will be happy because he always complains about this every single time. No matter anybody contacts him for you know misuse of this, misuse of that, it's like just pay your license. That way you won't get attacked. I mean, it's like get on it, YouTube. Sort that out. Make this your biggest goal in 2022. The forever landscape would be much appreciated, including. You know, my suggestion. Now use it. Watch if you can watch me at the end, please just implement something like that. I mean we could all greet grateful. Just just do that. Just do that thing. You do so very well. Right. I'm gonna finish it. Computer geek. <laughs> he he likes he likes swearing in his videos. He likes to say hello to Dave, and he plays a new safe state. Fuming Joseph. Fuming Joseph. <laughs> yeah, he's like a rain of fires of hell, mates. It's like, woo! I'm surprised. I'm surprised you're the only one watching me tonight. Although I'm a bit concerned about D Bragg being an absolute robot, but. <laughs> No, he he sounds. He sounds. I mean, I don't know what. Uh, how how could a guy speak like you know? I don't see. This is what really boggles my mind. Is why does he say like the bloody obvious stuff? But when I play a game, and I don't get it. I don't. I don't understand that. It's just. It's like. It's like I'm trying to play the game, and he asks me these weird questions when I'm in the middle of boss battle. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I don't like I don't really watch his content anymore. I used to like Andrew Joe, but his videos are way too long. They're like nearly bloody forty minutes. And this is why I stopped watching Cad Icarus, because his videos were taking the piss. It was like bloody one hour long. And I thought like, dude, one hour long? Nobody watches an hour long video. Most media consumption is average. Ten minutes is enough. But when people go like an hour talking about Disney games and I go like, why? Why? Well, nobody has the attention span for that. Fair enough. If you're bed bound, you can't do anything, then fine, watch it. But for me though, that's like an hour wasted. You could do something more productive in an hour than you can watch one whole video. I mean, this is the problem. You're watching a video, you go like this, I'm a zombified idiot. I'm going like, uh, watching Cat Icarus. What? Am I getting value from this? No, watch something else. <laughs> I mean, I'm, the, I'm one of those guys that likes short videos. I like watching short videos. Like, average, the minimum length is either from five minutes to 10 minutes. Hey, and if this is like a really good documentary about video games, they talk about, say, half an hour, 
then I accept it. But if it's like a, a two-hour thing about a video game company, no, I won't watch it. It's too much. But I know you're going to scream in the comments, but you can watch it later, you know. Yeah, that's true, but i rather... <laughs> it, it's, this is a problem. I don't know. Mm. I like Tadikris. To be fair, I'll put his vids on while I do other stuff. Yeah, I I, I stopped watching his vids because they were just getting, they were just getting really generic and samey and boring. He doesn't do anything. What I mean, this is, this is a problem with YouTube. I have YouTube. I this is what this is what I like about me though because I'm doing different videos. I'm not doing all the same videos because if I did all the same videos, then nobody will watch me. And they'll unsubscribe. Which is fair enough. This is why I'm very happy with the Mega Man 2 video. Because I put F into that one. And I really did love it. And I like the fact I actually did impressions of Dr. Wily though. And that was pretty good fun. I really enjoyed it. Because how I did that was. I actually did watch a clip of Mega Man uh, cartoon show. Of uh, Dr. Wily. And he's laughing. He goes. <laughs> yeah. I, can, I sort of got it. It's like. He got to do like a. Um. And Gazlov Games said a very interesting comment yesterday when I was uh, watching my uh, premiere video. He said to me, "Your voice is deep," and I thought, "Good, that's good. I like the fact my voice is deep. I don't like the fact it. <laughs> I like a deep voice because I'm not a fan of like." Doctor Willy. He does have a Doctor Massive Willy in any way, and Doctor Doctor Light is. Um, Dr. Light is shining on his willy. <laughs> oh, I said a bad word. Oopsie. YouTube, punish me. <laughs> YouTube, slash me down. Su Susan Wabberjack is a female. She doesn't like us talking about bloke stuff. I, I know, this is what... Could you imagine a feminist come on live stream right now and said, like, you should stop saying this sexist stuff, yeah, blah, 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 blah. And you know what? I don't give a shit, though, because I, if I met a chick that ha that was a feminist, do you know what I would do? I would, I would leave in five seconds. You know why? Because they're undateable. Because all, all they do is shit on men. And I do not like that. I mean, this is a, this is what pisses me off about feminists the most is equal pay, equal pay. It's like it's, they use that as an argument. They get equal pay. You should get back in the kitchen. To be fair, <laughs> do you think do you think you should take over, um, Dave? I think you should. You sound you sound knowledgeable. You know what you're doing, especially. You know what I? Uh, yeah, it's good you're doing a, a second channel, because. I'm looking forward to that, dude, because uh, I it would give me a chance to recollect of my nostalgia memories of listening to these awesome bands, man. I the, I never I haven't listened to a metal album in a long time because every time I listen to the one same album, it gets a bit tiresome, you know, because it goes like you know the words are coming and it's like you play the CD, play, rewind, play, rewind, play, rewind, play, rewind, play. Rewind, play re yeah, it's just it gets a bit boring, doesn't it? Yeah, I did realise this. That apparently Hammerfall is still making albums though. So, uh, yes, I must buy that at some point because I I adore that band. They're for, they're from um, Switzerland, aren't they? Yes, is that right? Hammerfall from Switzerland, uh, the Swedes, aren't they? Yes. Uh, yeah, I remember seeing them live. I thought they were really good. That's that's when when I saw them live, I instantly bought their albums because uh, I had a good time and it was brilliant. Great music great vocal range too I, I I like good metal bands that have great vocal range that really uh, shatters your ears if you know what I mean like I want to scream a cinder you know like that I like you know I do not like uh, wimpish voices when they go like I'm just a winter bimper or you know I want someone to go like Black Iron shouts yeah I never get bored of my music it's part of my life even more than video games that's an interesting um that's an interesting take yeah fair enough i mean with me though i'm like a i'm like a i'm like a movie i want to watch an, a different one and yes, yeah not swedish yeah i keep forgetting <laughs> yeah um what's that uh, skull and Mond i like 
Yeah, the, have you heard of a band called Scalamond? I think you should cover them. They're a really good band. I really enjoyed that. Amazing. Yeah. It's like, oh, Dave, Oh, I had a really good conversation the other day. Um, when I was at work, there was, there was this awesome hot bird that was wearing a Ramstein t-shirt. And I said, you're awesome. And I said to her, even though I love their music, I do not know their words. <laughs> and I, but that's the beauty, though, because if you think about it, if you want to learn German, then learn German. Then you understand the lyrics of the song in German. I mean, that's that's really good. That's a really good goal. I think I should do that. You know, go to a language class and learn German. Why not? <laughs> you get it. Was it in zwei line ein song sing? Oh, I, I something like that. One, two. I'm trying to do like numbers. Yeah. I have over three hundred CDs. Whoa. So I have plenty to listen to. Marketing. Wow, that's a lot of CDs, dude. <laughs> I was gonna say you do hoard quite a lot of stuff, mate. That's a lot. Or you, or you, all of those collector types. I'm so glad I'm not a hoarder anymore. I'm so tired of it. I'm so tired of spending money that doesn't give me happiness. This is the thing, guys. I just the the only thing that'll give me happiness is when I save up money. I can get an SSD for my PS5, a new PC. Then I'll be happy as hell. And then after that, I could save up for my holiday next year. Which I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but um, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we will see how it goes. Alright then, guys. I'm going to go offline now. Um, thank you all for watching. And thank you to Dave. You're awesome as ever. Thank you for watching, mates. Alright then, guys. So, I will see you next week for Yoshi Island Part 5. And uh, hopefully I can finish that game next week. Yes. Oh, I don't know. Can I finish it? Oh, no. Oh, don't. I can't, can I? Because I, I erased the save data, didn't I? Oops. I can't finish it, can I? I just realised something. Oh, I can't do you. Oh, can I? Don't know. Black Iron Motor Black. Shoot. Do you know the guy on YouTube, Carpathia808, who does a lot of Sega Mega Drive songs, but often offers deconstructed it, if you know what that is? Uh, no. Black Iron Motor Dew Black. Alright, alright, um, guys, before I go, I just realised something. Um, I deleted my old version of RetroArch, so I can't play Yoshi Island, so I'm gonna have to leave it. Sorry. I totally forgot. I just, I just forgot to import that save file. I'm such a silly ninny. Um, right, so next week we'll actually be uh, SNK Girl Fighters. I'm gonna sort that tonight. Sorry about that. I told you, I keep forgetting. I, I just relate. I just raised the bloody old version of RetroArch. Oh, freaking heck, me. All right then. Um, right. Take care, guys. I will sort it out. All right. Retro forever. Take care, guys. Thank you for watching. <laughs>